big deal, just cruising through a 5,000 year old pyramid. Hello, happy travelers. Welcome back to Egypt. Today is our second day, and after exploring the pyramids of Giza yesterday, we're on to another pyramid complex. The Saqqara complex. Ta-da! <laughs> At one point, this whole pyramid complex was surrounded by this big wall, and this section behind us is the only part of the wall that's still left. It's been really cool to see some of the stuff that we saw on our last trip to Egypt, but we're also doing some things and seeing some things that we didn't get to see. And that is an awesome experience, like the Zoser Step Pyramid. This whole Saqqara area, it's very interesting, very old too. This is actually considered the first stone building in the world, or the first stone construction, I should say. And it's nearly 5,000 years old. I can't even fathom that. On top of that, we are going to be going to some more tombs and seeing some more antiquities. It is a fantastic day to be in Egypt. It's February, but it's like 75 degrees. It's amazing. So that was one very long corridor that went to a huge hole that was probably like 90 feet deep. Our guide told us that this pyramid is different because a whole family was buried here. The other ones are just for one person. So there's different tombs all over this pyramid where different people of this family would be buried. The inside of the Step Pyramid has only been available to visitors for a couple of years. Even if we had come here the last time we were here in 2016, we wouldn't have been able to go inside, so. I think it turned out pretty well. So Saqqara is one of the areas in Egypt that there is a lot of active digging going on and they have uncovered some tombs here recently. They're still doing archaeological digs every day. We're gonna go and check out some of the newer tombs that they've just uncovered. When you go into these tombs and you see these sites, I can't tell what is more impressive. The detail with which these hieroglyphics and scenes are carved or the fact that they've survived thousands of years. It's insane. So that was the tomb of a mayor or a kind of judge. He had a little higher position. So we had a nice tomb and now we're going into the pyramid. Tricky coming down these stairs, huh? Wow. A little tight through here. No big deal, just cruising through a 5,000 year old pyramid. Wow. Claustrophobic. We're stopping at the Memphis Outdoor Museum. Memphis was the first capital of ancient Egypt and everything that they've found in the city of Memphis, they've brought to this one site and made it into kind of an open air museum. Just on the other side of this museum, there's this fence and that's the whole like archeological site right over there. They said that this area would flood quite a bit, especially before they built the dams in Egypt. So they're still excavating and a lot of the artifacts they're finding are under like a lot of mud and silt just from years and years, thousands of years. That's where it was. It's crazy. You can't go over there though. They won't let you. So the first thing we're checking out at the Memphis Museum is this huge statue of King Ramses II. It was found face down in like a boggy marsh kind of thing. The area was kind of flooded when it was found and it was face down so the back side of it, which is what they could see, was badly damaged. But the front side was really perfectly preserved and I don't even know how they got it up. It's amazing. The thing is gigantic and the amount of detail is so crazy. 
So any type of artifact they find in the Memphis area comes to the Memphis Open Air Museum. There are a couple of well-preserved statues, but the rest <laughs> are kind of just like fragments of temples and statues and just anything they find that might be ancient Egyptian just kind of strewn around like you can just walk amongst them and they're just all over the place. <laughs> it's like an ancient Egyptian artifact graveyard kind of. Yeah, artifact boneyard. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of cool. Excuse you. Another statue, Ramses II. Apparently, he was very in love with himself. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of statues. Lots of statues of him. Big ones, too. <laughs> this site also has the second largest sphinx in all of Egypt. Apparently, there are sphinx all sphinxes? There are sphinx? Sphinxes? Sphinxes? I don't know. There are sphinxes. Whatever the plural of sphinxes. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently there's Sphinx all over Egypt, um, but most of them are pretty small. So the biggest one is obviously by the pyramids that we saw yesterday. Um, and this is the second biggest one, which Queen Hatshepsut, who's one of the most famous queens in all of ancient Egypt, we'll see her temple a little later this week down in Luxor. She built this one and modeled the face of this one after her. So that's pretty cool. This whole museum doesn't take more than really 15 or 20 minutes to walk around and see everything. It's not that big um, and a lot of the pieces like Kelly said are more in ruins and just kind of scattered about but still really cool to see in Saqqara village there are dozens of carpet schools and our next stop was to see handmade carpets that are famous in this region these schools teach local families how to make these carpets and often the whole family will work on the same carpet sometimes these carpets can take years to complete they work on big looms, and it was crazy to see how fast they actually were able to weave. We have all kinds of anime carpets. This is the first soft carpet we have here. This is silk. After the tour, they took us up to the showroom, and you had the opportunity to buy some of the carpets, but we were asked not to film in there. We have made it back to our hotel room. We mentioned this in our last video, but we're staying at the Hyatt Regency Cairo West, which is pretty close to the pyramids in the Egyptian Museum. We're actually checking out of this hotel tonight because we're actually taking an overnight train from Cairo to Aswan tonight. Never been on an overnight train before, let alone an overnight train in Egypt. So we're going in with an open mind. It's gonna be an adventure, but I think that's gonna be it for this video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can check out the rest of the videos that we're making on this trip in Egypt. Until next time, this is Kevin from The Awkward Tourists. Peace out. Here we go. It is cozy. Let me tell you what. All right, this is our home for the next 12 hours. It's so loud. Our hotel is on an island in the middle of the Nile. Shame, shame, shame. So that was one very long shaft that went to, so that was one very long corridor. Can just stand up in here, barely, but it's just all about to stand up. Oh, did I say that I hit my head? <laughs> Apparently there's Sphinx all over, yeah, I almost said Europe, I'm not in Europe. <laughs>